Hi, this is Chiranjeevi. This question appeared in CSIR Net, December 19, 2016. The question is, the molar conductivity tireless lambda versus concentration of concentration flat of sodium dodecyl sulfate in water is expected to look like. Okay, so we have the four options in the first option and check the four options okay we have these four options so what will be the correct option for the graph of molar conductivity versus concentration of sodium dodecyl sulfate in water okay right so what is sodium dodecyl what are sodium dodecyl sulfate okay so it's an amphiphilic amphiphilic surfactant amphiphilic surfactant means it is both hydrophilic and it has both hydrophilic and hydrophobic ends it has hydrophilic and hydrophobic ends okay so and when so take the graph and Taylor's lambda with concentration so when this sodium dodecyl sulfate so then its formula is Na plus OSO3 minus C12 H25. So this is the formula of dodecyl so dodecyl sulfate of sodium. Okay, right. When this uh, this SDS added slowly to the water, slowly to the water, it ionizes in the form of Na plus sign this anion okay sulfate anions so due to the formation of these anions the concentration uh, that means the molar conductivity of the solutions increases okay right slowly increases and uh, due by the adding of by the slowly adding of sodium dodecyl sulfate to the water water the formed uh, the Na plus ions enter into the water phase and this anion has two ends that is so this is head phase and this is tail okay so it forms simply by the adding of so SDS to the water uh, this surfactant forms micelle, micelle structure. So that means this is uh, hydrophobic, hydrophobic, hydrophobic end, and this is hydrophilic end, hydrophobic end and hydrophilic end. Okay. So hydrophilic end means it likes to be in water, okay. And hydrophobic means it is not interested with water, okay. And by this, by the adding of SDS to the water, it forms missile like this. Okay, yes, these negative ions, that means negative ions are exposed to the water phase and uh, the hydrophobic tail phase B present are placed in the interior part of the missile okay and during the adding of so SDS to the water its concentrate its uh, molar conductivity increases slowly and after the formation of missile so here is missile concentration 
missile critical missile concentration after reaching the missile concentration the slowly the number of anions decreases that's why slowly uh, here we can uh, we can uh, uh, check or note that the slowly increasing of uh, molar conductivity of the solution but after some time by adding more SDS to the water uh, after formation of missiles the bubbles are due to the formation of bubbles so due to the form formation of bubbles the missile uh, concentration uh, breaks some missiles are breaks into monomers of SDS SDS anions okay due to the formation of bubbles the missiles breaks are uh, disturbs uh, to form uh, monomers of this SDS anions and suddenly the concentrate the molar conductivity of the solution increases fast okay so due to this we can get graph like this okay once again uh, by the adding of uh, uh, SDS to the water due to the formation of ions in a plus signed SDS anion so the molar conductivity of the solution increases and after reaching critical micellic concentration so the, uh, the increasing of molar conductivity uh, it becomes low but after addition of more SDS the missiles are disturbed due to the formation of bubbles and the, uh, the concentration of the missiles changes and they disturb the breaks into monomers of SDS anions and due to the formation of more monomers monomeric anions of SDS the molar conductivity suddenly increases okay so this this can be observed if we in the experiment of dodecyl uh, sulfate of sodium in water okay that's why the graph 3 is very suitable for the uh, molar conductivity versus concentration flat of the sodium dodecyl sulfate in water so our answer is third one okay right so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and uh, encourage me to upload more and more thank you